Hello. Hi. It's Beretta here and Thorn. And Theory. Can't see you, Theory. He's hiding. It's been he's a right, while. He's right under here, right he there. He is. Do you want me to turn or are you going to say hi? Mm -hmm. Okay, he's going to hide. All right. Well, how is everyone doing today? And as you jump on the broadcast, yeah, you got to stand up so we can see you. Be sure and say hello uh, with your city and state. So as you come on, um, be sure and put that city and state in the comment line. And so great to have you. And hey, Casey, how are you? And Daisy, great to see you. Welcome. Hello. Be sure and put your... Um, city and state in the comments so I can recognize you. Hey, Whitney. And I just wanted to chat. Hi, Vicki. So great to have you on. Hi, Julia. And um, we have all the kids here. Well, Theory doesn't exactly want to say hi, but he might just pass through. He's hiding. <laughs> so, hi, Ryan. Are you going to stick around? No? You going to go play? Yes. Okay. You can wave by or come back. Hi from Portland. All right, Thorns. Uh, wow, from Macedonia. So great to have you on. And I just wanted to share a little bit today. Um, as many of you know, I have been on a weight loss journey myself. And hey, Dana. And the kids are in the other room. So even though I said, hey, could you be quiet? You get to hear the kids' background noise. So. Anyway, um, that, you know, why is it that so many diets don't work? And, you know, the big question, hey, Amy, like, why don't they work and what is the deal? So I'm going to let you in on a couple of, like, key secrets as far as why they don't work, why they haven't worked for me, plus some research. Um, so drop a one in the comments if you have ever tried a diet and it didn't work. Um, so whether it was some special eating plan, like drop a one in the comments if you've ever tried anything and had it not work. So I could probably put like 10 different ones in the comments. And it's a $61 billion market, the weight loss, weight management industry. And the fact is that there's very few good solutions. And I'm going, you know, people make about four attempts um, a year on a diet. And so, hey, Darcy, hey, Judy, as you jump on the broadcast, be sure and drop a one in the comments. Great to have you on. And so that we make four attempts a year at a diet, and usually the diet only lasts for about three weeks. So again, I was saying if anyone's ever tried some kind of diet or eating program um, and it didn't work, drop a one in the comments. And one of the key things that this is one of my big secrets is that it is relying on willpower. This is what most things are relying on, which means most things that are out there are starvation, um, that it's like, you know, you're gonna do some kind of cleansing, you're gonna do some juicing, you're doing some sort of meal replacement, and like ketogenic, I know you hear a lot about that, but that's basically like fat and meat, and, um, it's not really like a sustainable system because you only have so much willpower. And you guys, hang on one second. I'm coming right back. Hey, Thorn, you gotta be quiet. You guys gotta be quiet. I t the kids are in the background, summer's out, three weeks till school, you guys can come and say hi. But <laughs> yours lasts about three days. So thanks for rocking with me. Um, but anyway, they, you know, just crazy, crazy statistics and lying on, relying on willpower, you only have so much willpower. So meaning that if you willpower through a project that you have to get done, then um, you're not going to have it left for a diet. So thinking about mindful eating. So what does mindful eating mean? And, and I found this system that I, um, you know, feel like it, it goes right along with this kind of mindful eating where, you know, these other things are relying on willpower. So what is, you know, mindful eating? And, 
you know, drop a, um, give me a little food emoji if, here comes one of them to say hi. <laughs> so, anyway, um, <laughs> doesn't, theory doesn't want to say hello. And really, the, a lot of these um, foods, you know, and programs, it's just not going to work. It's not sustainable. It's not something that's going to last for a long time. So what we have going on is based on the Mediterranean diet and why I have had so much success with it is because I feel like it goes along with this mindful eating and mindful eating means like really listening to your body, um, really trying to understand when you're full and when you're not full and like not obsessing over food. So drop a two in the comments if you ever feel like you've obsessed over food. I mean, and I definitely know that I have where that's kind of all you're thinking about. Like, hey Natalie, thanks for joining. And that's really all that you're, you know, thinking about, um, like your next meal, maybe you're starving. And again, it's going on that willpower. So um, to, to not obsess about food and to have this kind of mindful eating, I think that the Mediterranean diet and the program that I have been, you know, using really works in conjunction with that. And hey Casey, great to have you on. And Mediterranean versus a... Yeah, I can't, I'm on live right now. So you can either participate or you get to wait. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the, the Mediterranean is the low, you know, versus the low fat has about a 50% more effective, you know, solution than like a typical low fat diet. And again, you know, focusing on that mindful eating. So another really big tip that I have is that you want to um, only eat a little bit at each meal. So, hey, Mike, thanks for joining. And meaning like about 20 to 25 bites. And hey, guys, I apologize for all the background noise. You guys need to whisper. This is what I get for doing it in the living room and with the kids that are both here. They were on camp last week. So where um, one of my big things that I've learned in this, you know, mindful eating is that you really only want to eat about 25 bites in a meal and or to the first burp, which I know sounds weird. So Catherine, hey, thanks for joining. And this program that I'm going to share a little bit uh, really goes along with this. It has taught me some new habits and, you know, really goes along with what some of these secrets to mindful eating and being able to really think about what you're doing, enjoy the food, eating healthy like 90% of the time. So the first thing is just um, this awesome morning product that helps, you know, burn more calories. It kind of puts you in the right thing so that you have healthy blood sugar levels and it's got antioxidant support just to kick things off. And I'm super sensitive to caffeine. I don't do a lot of caffeine. It's nothing weird or jittery. And it goes right in line, the whole program where you're eating three meals a day, um, you're feeling satisfied, you feel amazing, like have amazing energy throughout the day. And then another key you know, component is having the right kind of protein. So a little bit, um, love these little on the go protein packets for a snack that really help with your daily cravings and um, you know, it's it's something that's easy and convenient and it, it fills you up and it helps with those daily cravings. So, hey, <laughs> my little munchkins are here making a ridiculous amount of noise while I'm trying to talk to you all. So, um, yeah, fail on my part. Normally I go in my office. I told them I was going live, but you know, hey, and I'll go lock the door. So then you'll just hear him pounding on the door. But anyway, so having a really good protein as a snack. And then the last thing is having a, it's a daily fiber and so important to have insoluble fiber, um, a prebiotic that really helps with your digestion. And then this has an oats that's with heart support. And 
I like to say, and just being real, like best BMs ever. Yep, I said it, like amazing digestion. And I know some people who get started have noticed that they, um, you know, kind of have some digestive issues to begin with because there's a real lack of fiber in all of our diets, uh, you know, in the US diet especially. And so this program, I mean, just like some awesome results that I've seen from people um, doing a, a 90 day with this program and just going along with that mindful eating. So that was Renee, here's Martin looking amazing. Um, Brittany that was on just this whole stomach area. Um, and I think that that fiber is like a key important part of it where you get to eat those three meals a day and you feel satisfied, you don't have a lot of cravings. Hey Melissa, great to have you on. Uh, and you have a few little lifestyle changes that are simple and help teach you how to not use willpower but to have that mindful eating where it's creating a new habit. And you know, one of the biggest things is that, that 90 days on a new habit and really you know working towards that so definitely if you guys want any info like more info more details more info without interruptions of my kids walking back and forth um, drop some info drop info in the comments or send me a message because it's really been an amazing you know journey for me just learning more about my own body um, really being more conscientious realizing that you know doing all these other things I've done HCG I've done starvation I've done juicing that those are about willpower which we only have a limited supply in the day so if you use it for something else you're not gonna have the willpower with food and creating those habits where you're eating right, you know, 90% of the time and you still know that life is for living. And I just think that it has created such an amazing like balance, awareness. So I wanted to pass some of those things on to you today. Um, if you want any more info, like, like I said, drop info in the comments and I appreciate you all so much and I wanted to share. Um, Darcy, I will definitely shoot you some info or shoot me a PM, you know, private message on Facebook. Even if you just want some of these tips, like, I, you know, I just want to help people like be their best you. I know for me, I struggled for so long, um, just not feeling like myself after kids and finally found this like amazing place where I feel good. I feel good in my own body. I'm not starving. I am conscious of what I'm eating. I enjoy when I have those little splurge moments. So I want to pass that on to you. You guys are amazing. Thanks for putting up with my crazy crew and we will talk to you all soon.